tack, it's it's not as much of a disadvantage, although it can definitely help in um, post plans. Well, let's see how it's going to go to start off with just a one-for-one -one trade along. Nice and fast here from Yuri. Throws out the slow, doesn't want to be rushed. Good timing on the slow. The Omen Shadow Orb, though. Oh, that's less than ideal for Yuri. He tries to escape, but he's put down to 25 health. BBL, though, they're being smart. They're not overextending. The rotations come in. But it's not been an over-rotation here, Mitch. And that's the main thing, is that actually this still could be a way for them to get in. Don Q wants to put his orb forward. He wants to make sure that he can... Oh, that's not ideal. Just at the wrong timing. He gets poked. He loses his head. Yuri's low on health as well. And his spot's going to be known. Why are they not taking it down? See, Ned, he comes in, but Yuri was still able to get one. So maybe a little bit too farther forward than the, what they needed to be here. Jomba did it again, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, those shock darts. We said he's known for it. And this is exactly what he's able to do. He knows where the spike default plant is. And he'll just throw him up and try and knock him down. Very aggressive positions here from BBL. Though. Right, They're yeah. taking fights, which almost a bit unnecessary. The Omen's super low, but you know it's Aslan. It's a 1v1 now. A headshot would help him seal this. Exos expects to be pushed a little bit. Aslan's taking such a forward position here. Oh, the timing's not going to work out. Exos gets it. Giant onto the pistol round. i got to say that for Aslan, though. You knew where the spike was down. There wasn't any real need to show. I guess he's like, I'm on low health. I'm just going to go for the one bullet head. Giants. Hexers. Will they spot him? Do they check the left? The cage goes through, so just to allow him to retreat. He avoids a lot of the damage coming up, even tags up Phoenix a little bit. Russ taking a lick of damage, but Aslan's good to take that frag, having TP'd up into heaven, and they just leave him completely unchecked. An easy double, John, but blinded, but a little bit too late, and that was a very risky peek. He had control. There was no need to go push into that. I'm guessing he was hoping they wouldn't know he's there, but the information was already had by his teammate. Oh, this is nice. Don Q going to get himself into the site. Starts with a spray, misses a few shots, but will still land the kill. Straight on top of the defuse. And Giants, they bounce back into it. Two alive. But now they've got three players up with their ultimates, Mitch. And that's where it gets very concerning for BBL. You know when you see those ults up, right? It's always in the back of your mind. Even if they're not going to use it so early on, it's like... I just love how much time he spent and how much dedication he's got put into these shock darts. There's Ooh. great damage and an assist for Donkey off the bat. Really nice use of those shock darts there. Jonbo with the lineups, but is it going to be enough? So much action early on here in the round. Cena's found himself in the sea, but his teammates aren't there. Don Q's just waiting for it, and he's doming heads for now. That's the spike taken down. Oh, no, it's the Cypher. There's a spike. It's not a problem. But still, Kiro is now all alone. Maybe he can shoot one in the back. At best, he might be able to get the spike down. I just love those shock dart lineups. We'll come back to that in a second, though. There's an aggressive stance coming through, but Fatino was ready to go. The knives out. So they're almost like looking for a 13-0 to make up for that recovery and hoping that NIB just get wrecked. They need all the rounds, so that means this pissed around is all important. Trying to push their way into the B site. It starts off really good. Headshots delivered. They're just rushing in. They're not slowing down just yet, but they need to be careful of CNED. The Frenzy's there as well, and they just got too over-aggressive. Exos has put himself in a good position, but they didn't even try to get the spike down here, Mitch. This is a huge blunder from Giants. A massive problem. And we mentioned how they need every single round at this point because they are not safe even winning this series 2-0. And for that to be the thing that opens it up for them in the pistol round... The problem is, that's probably a second given over. You probably have oh. to eco afterwards. And with Xers fall, Vodafone that put it down. Yeah. So with that, yeah, there's literally no information. So it was wild to see them commit that heavily towards A. Oh, see, Ned. Misses a key shot. Takes a lot of damage as well. Down on 27. The push starts to come up. His position has been revealed. He needs to back away, but Fatino, his ult comes out. And he's able to at least get one for now. Seasight secured. And they're going to wall off Garage. No way in just yet. Exo sets up the camera in a perfect spot. How do BBL want to try and retake into this one? I mentioned in that first half um, when we came in and saw no Sage on BBL that on the attacking side, Sage does still have a lot of uses when you get down to those post plants. And you see exactly why. Yuri's already managed to just completely slow them down and cut off an angle. And now they can focus in towards the spawn. 
That TP allows the heal to come through, but Fatino falls straight away. This is very dangerous. You're seeing the Donkey wants to push through that smoke, and he catches leg. Oh, nice swing by Xers. The timing was so good, but he doesn't win the duel. And now it's down to just a 2v2, but time is so low. The pressure is on for BBL. They've got to spread out fast and look for these remaining two players. Not able to commit fully. The wall goes in, but Yuri about to swing on through. Realizes he doesn't need to anymore because they're not sticking it. He's going to wait. Eventually goes in and finds the final kill. Russ starts off on the John, but this is exactly what they wanted, but it needs to continue. This is not ideal. They can't be trading it out. They need to somehow make this in their favor. Here. The Giants are just waiting now. They go, okay, you've been aggressive once. We can just hold back right now. Still plenty of time to play for. The cam that's down on A long is actually really big over towards BBL. They've got the info that Here. no one's coming there, so they're confident and again, stacking players towards the other side. That's how you need to use Cypher to steal that info early. Matter of fact, at this point, you could easily see Cypher rotate over to B, play more spawn side. The only issue is that that cam has to be checked every mm. second, Camera second and a half, out. in case they just run across. All the information plays. Russ again. Now, we haven't seen too much from him in this game, but this could be his time to shine. Aslan on point, looks for a second, but it's not going to work. Russ is still getting it done, and he is saving the day for BBL right Here's the jet. That's the key part. He's hiding down for now. He's avoided a lot. He's getting away with it. He does just get one, though. Fatino quick on the refrag. How much more can they get done? Fatino spraying through. It's back and forth for now, but it's going in favor of the Giants. They need to get that spike down. Two versus three. Spike. The jet is low, the sage is dead. Exer's taking a forward position, the headshot is landed. What a way for it to go. Risk versus reward, the Cypher's using his ult. And now they know exactly where to look. All the pressure is on. To 1v3, it shouldn't be possible. But I've seen crazier things. Don Q teleports over, just wants to ensure that they're making as many options as possible here for this Cypher to try and fight back into. Shots fired. Headshots <laughs> delivered. Here I mean, now. And that was the same in regulation as well. Aslan, if he wants to peek this, if he doesn't just allow him to walk in, if he goes for a poke, could be the difference. Oh, he misses some shots. That's key. He throws the orb down and he's going to die. Oh, Aslan, you're normally the turret, but the turret has fallen. Now the A-site once again is secured. Kiro, he needs to try and deliver something huge here, but it's not working out. Fatino's ripping him apart time after time. This would take a monster performance, two versus five, in order for BBL to take this round. You know, the thing there was that, obviously, you saw Yuri was further back, so didn't get hit by the paranoia. That opening duel puts Vodafone Giants in a position where they've got that site, they've got everything locked down, and they're not going to give it up just yet. On 14 to 15, they need this to bring it to another overtime and continue to extend this game. And this map one, there's still another one to go. That paranoia Ooh. forces CNET backwards, but there's no saving in OT. You don't get any of those weapons in the next round. They've got to go, oh. but they're just being picked apart. Vodafone Giants, flawless in this. It's all about showing that they are a team that can compete at this level in some way. They've had games close against some of the best teams in Europe, but they've not been able to get even a map thus far. The push comes in, Fatino is fast, he spotted out one, but no one's making a move just yet. Lego, it's all on him, but Cena hits the shot. Oh, they didn't check it! The spike's down, he's getting two, the spray down's coming in, he's still alive! They finally deal with him, but a lot of damage has been done. Three versus two, and it's Ross with the operator. John, but doesn't even know where that came from. He was confused. All alone, and Russ seals the deal. 17-15, BBL take. Here at the Allied Esports Odyssey event. Defensive play so far for BBL. Oh, the jet pushes in. Nicely done by Kiro. He's not done yet either. He shuts another one down. But a good reply coming in from the Giants, but it's quickly ended. And he's got the operator large and in charge. I want to see from BBL um, what depth they're... <laughs> okay, decent amount. Uh, I want to see what depth their defensive side has. I mean, you're up against the pistols. Yeah, you can take those wide swings. You can take those fights, but I get a little bit worried then. <laughs> Throws that annoyed brother every now and again. Yeah, it reminds me of good times. And, oh, oh, oh dear, this is just... This is painful now if you're giants. CNED, he's getting... <laughs> he's trying to 360! 
we said his confidence was up. He's definitely showing that. A wow. 3K on the back of that little revolver headshot. Bounce, you go behind 6-1-7-1, whatever. But then when something like that happens and you lose a round that should have been yours after you played so well because of a silly little mistake, you really start kicking yourself then. That's when mo the mood gets very low. I would hate to be approaching B when you've just got Lego there doing these shock darts because it's at random times as well. It's not just at the beginning yeah. of a round. He just did one then. It's like, okay. <laughs> and they're just like, no, let's, let's move away from this. I don't want to sit and take this. Yuri's going to try and find himself boosted across. Another shock dart goes up. The paranoia going forward though as well. He's going to give him much of an opportunity. Lego spraying it out. He's able to hit the first one. Goes in for the second player. Oh, Russ is there to back him up. Russ is tearing him apart. He's even headshot oh. Xers over towards that side. Only one to deal with, and he's looking to go all the way through. This is such a beautiful play by BBL. <laughs> Not even down to like massive strategy or anything. And raise B instead of the uh, the save. Could you imagine the grenades? <laughs> oh my god! You, use, you just never go B, would you? You just be like, yeah. well, yeah, you can have that. Recon boys. with the Sova. Use the, the drone or the recon dart, and then just shock dart, nade. <laughs> Everything's going at you. It's not a fun time. Yeah. I might try that in my next pub game. We should try it. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah, let's, let's go you for play it. Sober, you could be a lineup, so I'll just be the yeah. crazy raise. Well, right now, what's crazy, though, is Yuri standing strong with the pistol. Oh, he's doing so much damage. See, there's like, I want to dance over these bullets, but it's not working. So both the jet and the sober very low. Cypher just under half health as well. Nicely done, though. CNED bides the time. Can put himself in a good position, but is it going to be enough for the clutch? They've still got their Sage up on the Giants. It's going to take a hell of a performance from BBL in order to get it. They close the door, which is helpful. But is it going to be enough? It can run the time down a bit here. Finally does get break broken. And the drone does at least spot out one player. I like this position. Look at them. They're all still close. If they poke at the same time, they've got chances. You can't shoot everyone at the same. He's looking to recon now in just one second. It's going up. It might be a little bit too late. Yuri's already fallen. Time to show up in these fights. Lego losing his other teammate. It's got to be a big play now. He's taken down on his low health, leaving it down to CNET, who we saw early on. It lit down to 30 HP. And Vodafone Giants, they've got time. It's all yeah. good. If they if they held that for another second, though, that's definitely going in BBL's favor. Yeah. Oh, hitbox was added. Okay, yep. perfect. And next is still standing in, so that goes well with it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Hitbox is officially the coach. There you go. So they've just picked up a coach very recently. Well, he's got to be talking to them right now and tell them to hold up into this. Oh, CNED, the knives. They found their way into B. This is where it gets scary. No one else is left in the site. 4v3. And the problem is with Exos going down still, realistically, your Vodafone Giants, they, they need to go for it. You don't want to back away. You, you don't want to give a match point, Midge. We were too busy talking about the coach, and BBL was too busy doing damage. And some of the weapons BBL had in play, I didn't think this was going to be quite as clear cut. Here come the knives through. Don Q's in trouble, and he's already knocked out of that one. 12 to 4. Round for BBL. Ooh, Don Q. Good time to get aggressive and just backs away. I like that. Doesn't stand there and sit in. He'll just get the kill and chill out for the meantime. He knows he's got the numbers advantage. See, Ned, you have to be oh so careful of that. You're trying to check all the corners, but you've got no backup either, buddy. Giants just picking him apart one by one. No refrags at all. Not even an opportunity for it. Nicely done by Russ, though. He's hitting some shots today. I've got to give him that. He needs a few more if they want to take this round. Yuri in a good position, but... Oh, Fatino's out of it. This is their chance. Yuri might just back away. Sits on the edge for now. Starts to see him though, and again, it's just, Russ is on his own, where's the rest of the teammates pushing with him? I understand putting one player to sit behind there, but they need to be oh so careful here. Aslan, oh this is huge, he's done it. The spike's gonna go down on A, and they've got no idea. If, if the Cypher can get all the way around, then he can, because they've both gone the same direction, this is huge. But he might get caught, gets tapped up, now the teleport's gonna come in. He's 1 HP, gonna be caught on the cross, surely. Well, the recon goes out, so they know where Jamba is. They have an idea. Well, they now also know where both players are. This could be Perfect. the most big brain round coming out from BBL, Mitch. The most unexpected one. Jamba has to check so many corners here. Uses the drone. That's the smart decision. Cypher's found. Just misses, but at least he goes down. Two versus one. And Aslan, you're in a very obvious spot. The paranoia goes out. He puts his own. He wants to try and fight this. Jumps oh! into it. Oh, they line up, but Jamba gets the kill. 
Has he got time? No. I don't think he's got time. It's oh! done. It ends that way. Aslan with the massive teleport across the map with the paranoia to slow.